My mom was from Italy. She was like a little hippie vegan in her younger years. She and I spent tons of time cooking. It's like how we bonded. I think she really, really wanted to instill in me the art of cooking, teaching me different spice combinations, going through her recipes as if she was sort of on a cooking show for me. That was always fun. We actually came up with my first sauce on the market was the Alfredo one, and that's her recipe um, that we kind of developed together over the years. I love cooking for other people. I love giving the gift of food to people. I think she definitely instilled that in me. It's a way to show your love. And when she passed away, I just wanted, I wanted something tangible to hold on to. I was like, oh, if I can eat this bowl of pasta, it's like exactly like she made it, then I feel like she's not gone. I just wanted to remember her, and that was like, that was the main way that I connected with her. She sent me into like a cooking frenzy, and my sister actually encouraged me to start selling my all this outpouring of food that was coming out. So I was like, you know what, yeah, I'm kind of good at this. And I kind of did always want to have some sort of vegan business. It was always in the back of my mind. So I kind of grew up with that entrepreneurial spirit. And then I was working at a health food store and I could see this big gaping gap in the market of there was, there was no bottled vegan Alfredo sauce. So I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess I'm, I guess I'm doing it. Now it's this whole thing with a life of its own and new flavors and like, yeah, it's, it's exciting. Yeah, it was scary starting out. It's still scary. <laughs> it doesn't really stop being scary, I guess, for an entrepreneur. I put all of my savings into it, Real, like financially risky. I maxed out everything on it. I spent all my time I wasn't developing other skill sets. I was like, known a vision, my baby, my business. Like this is what this is what I'm doing. It's just it's a different life choice. Like it's not a stable nine to five that you can leave at the office and go home and get a good night's rest and you have days off. And I think it's ultimately more rewarding for me. I wrote out this like little paragraph of like, why am I doing it? That just sort of reiterated, you know, my mom, her love of cooking, sharing that love of cooking. I love cooking, I love feeding people. Like just all those sort of key points. Anytime I'm having a shaky go at it, <laughs> I'm feeling scared. I just read that and it, it almost instantly sort of refuels me and basically just returning to the root of why I'm doing this. And then you get up and you do it and you get responses from people that are really positive and really inspiring and then you're like, oh yeah, that's what it, that's what's good about this, that feels good. My mom was a very creative person. She was a great teacher. I wish she could try the cheesy flavor and the carbonara flavor. Oh, I wish she could get like her input on that. But she kind of, she developed my whole palette, so I think she would love it. I mean, she'd be proud. It was hers, and it's, she's gone, so it's kind of immortalized. It's her memory, so.